I am like a kid right now, <laughs> ready for this match. The vibe is so cool. Let's go. Picked up on the 10 foot line, set far side over the double. Return near side, Rowan. Returned up by Oakley. Off the double, slow pace to start things off. Both teams feeling each other out. Able to be returned, side dump attempt, no avail. Toward the near pin, and the right hand can't get there of Matt Oakley. And first point for the Bruins. Rammers did a nice job handling the serve first of Champlin. Led to a long rally, the first one here of this of this match. It's gonna be really important for the Rammers to be opportunistic as possible for as long as they possibly can. Getting the libero start for the Bruins is gonna be Alex Knight, usually an outside hitter out of Culver City, California. Still trying to figure out who they're gonna start at the libero position. Oh my goodness, the killer with the left hand, Cole Schobel, the freshman out of Matter Day. So Schobel against BYU, the first play of the match, tried to turn it on two, hit a little wide. Made up for it here tonight with a nice little bounce in area two. Tied at one, and that stays in a service ace for the Ramblers. And I know we'll talk about this more tonight, but it's a situation where the storylines Ray just write themselves between these two coaching oh, staffs. Yeah, 100%, you know, from the top down. And it's pretty fun to see a historic program like UCLA, and then how the Ramblers have had their own levels of tradition, mm -hmm. winning championships back in the mid mid 2000s yep and, and and now have a group here that's young but pretty competitive we had a good conversation with coach hawks just yesterday seems like a long time ago but again it was just yesterday and you know so much excitement and fun and again if you're a fan of volleyball this is it ricochets around pinball wizard on the far side Another point for the Ramblers. Nice swing by Van Buren in the rotation one for the Ramblers. And that rotation, that's where Van Buren's usually on the left side. Where he likes to hit more on the right side for the next two rotations. Getting the setting duties for UCLA, as mentioned, Andrew Rowan out of Sarah High School. And a service error. Rowan had six aces against Lewis the other night. You know, that's a situation where recently, of course, uh, a, a game you could say Loyola wishes they had come away with a different result, losing to number nine BYU in five sets. Serve, receive, one of the one of the challenges, I guess you could say, during that match. Passed up, quick one kill, and that's all they'll need. Cole Schobel again, the freshman with an outstanding set. Ray, talk me through it. How do you get a freshman setter so adjusted to this level, to this speed, to this pace? Well, John Hawks has got some guys, and you can't tell how many underclassmen you have out there right now as Schubel got a nice kill there to Meinhardt on that last play. Block back down, the big man in the middle, Dean Meyer, the junior out of Franklin, Wisconsin, delivering an outstanding play at the net. Little things right now, I don't know if you can see it. We've got so much of a crowd that they're expanding this place. Yes, they are. You might be able to see it in the in the background for a wider shot. It's coming. That hits the rafters and points going to go to UCLA. Got a net air that time on the Ramblers. But again, I, I was saying during the national anthem, Ray, I was looking around and I didn't see an open seat in the house. And with that being said, no folks, don't adjust your, your monitors. It didn't get brighter. They had to open up the whole additional overflow seating area here at the Joe. When UCLA played against Lewis, they for sure had a capacity crowd on, on Thursday. Again, everyone wants to see this team. Yep. You know, they want to be able to see the, the defending national champs. And again, it's a, a story program. I thought you were going to say they were here to see you, Ray. No, I wish. <laughs> and even then, that's not right. But it's okay. Jump serve by Van Buren. Another service ace for Loyola. And they have come out absolutely firing against the number one team in the nation. So the Rambers had a good start like they did on Thursday, playing solid volleyball. And this is the level they want to be able to play and play good for as long as they possibly can. It's the top of the tape, playable. Rowan sets near side, good return by Schobel. Very good, good pass by Schobel to the far side, off the tip, and not able to get there in time is Ethan Chaplin out of Oceanside, California, and just like that is a four-point lead 
for the Ramblers. Seen Oakley involved early as a libero for the Ramblers. A couple of nice plays, being able to stick some balls on the swing of the Bruins. Van Buren serves. Back row, that goes a bit too far. Nice little break, I guess you could say, for the Bruins as Loyola's just been delivering time and time again. When you look at aces so far, four aces for Van Buren in this young season. Mm -hmm. Looking for the left hand, playable by Guinness. This handle at the net, bit of a free ball opportunity. Off the double block, back row. Near pin, off the single tip. Only one place to go, triple block. Picked up by Van Buren. From the Bick, hits the top of the tape. He wanted all of that. Is Favakovic, we talked about him pregame. He wanted all of that sailing up from behind. For sure, and again, you saw another long rally between the two teams. D. Meyer had a chance to win with the fast point on the overpass. Just missed it. it can, kept the really rally going on. Float served by Guinness. That was a point of contention. Good fight at the net between the two players. Coach Hawks was saying that he wants to be able to deliver and receive. So point's gonna go to the Bruins. Not quite sure if Coach Hawks is gonna call the challenge, and we are. So talk us through it, Ray. Looks like we're gonna have a challenge on the touch. In the men's volleyball game, you're allowed three challenges. You can challenge the touch on, touch on the block, balls in or out, net violations, line violations for the 10 meter line, which is a three foot line. You can see that in the middle of the court and also serving line. If you win the challenge, you have to keep your challenge. You're not allowed to go over three challenges. But on this situation here, the Rams are looking to see if that stuff block landed in or out. From our eye, it looked maybe a, looks like it's gonna be inbounds. It looked like it caught, caught something. And points gonna stay with UCLA. And that's the great thing about the challenges and the challenge system continues to get better. And like you said before, we've yeah. got great officials and, and Patty and, and, and Jimmy as your up official and your second official. You're able to go through, have these situations, kind of work through it without it being a big deal. Arguments between the coaches, we can continue to play on. Back to serve, Jake Reed. And UCLA gets the point. It's usually how it goes. That's the karma of it all. A point goes your way, and then close call. Oh, let's just give it to the other side. Yeah, there's, <laughs> you know, you've got that. And, and for sure, in this match tonight, you might see chunks of missed serves just between, because both teams are trying to be aggressive on their serve. This guided pass, nice back set. Van Buren just pokes it over on the free ball. Decoy off the single. Oh, nice decoy over the middle. Andrew Roan, outstanding set, Ray. Yeah, the, the ball back behind the David is very, very fast, the tempo. A lot of times you see a fast tempo set on the outside, kind of the go set or out of the back row. But well, the Bruins like to run overhead, back behind really fast. Rowan back to serve now. Hits the tape, playable. Plays off the scoreboard. Trying to deliver. Far side, good aim to bring it back into play. And Van Buren kind of mishandles the situation. Tip gonna be called, and just like that, Bruins have tied it up at nine. It was a situation eight to four, Ray. I thought maybe another point. You know, Coach Spiral was gonna potentially call a timeout, didn't need it, tied up at nine. Trust us, guys. And again, you're gonna kind of see these back and forth swings here. Left hand kill attempt, play up at the line again, back decoy. Oh, Van Buren delivers. Another outstanding stop. Aggressive by Schobel. Came to play tonight for sure. His first swing, or in that rally, his swing was, was controlled and recycled. Nice back set to Van Buren to score. D. Meyer with the float serve. And it goes right at his ankle. And that's one of the challenges when you got one of your best hitters in the back row. They can aim right at his shoelaces. Yeah, the V that time in the rotation one for UCLA. He's on the left side. He's able to handle that go set really well. Hit it cross court at Dean Meyer. Serving now, Chaplin. Doing some great serves tonight. Back set 
Van Buren comes up and delivers as Chaplin kind of shows his frustration in his facial expression, not able to return it. Beautiful play, Van Buren. So you see a little storyline right now as Schobel's in the front row when he's in the 5-1. He's able to go up, show like he's going to play the ball across the net. The, re the left front blocker has to respect him. He can run the ball back behind to Van Buren on the, on the back row swing. The back yep. row set, excuse me. Out of play, good job by the line judge to recognize that. Give a point right back to the Ramblers. A little bit of a run now, a 3-1 run by Loyola Chicago. So you can kind of see back and forth again. Here we go. Usually teams at, at, at their peak are going to side out forever. Go back and forth, good action. Again, when you look at Loyola, their past two games, a loss to Stanford, or three in a row, two losses to Stanford. One of them, however, was a five-setter. BYU is a five-setter. There's a reason Loyola is coming in number 10. Of course, it'll change after today because of those losses, but they truly can keep up with anybody. Yeah, they've, I mean, it's just experience for these guys right now, right? They're playing a bunch of five-set matches for whatever the reason is, and they're getting opportunities to get experience while they play. Side pass up by Reed. Attack reset up by Oakley. Van Buren looks for it all, not able to find it. Nice back spin. Oakley back sets it. Triple block, and that one's going to go into the stands. Good play by UCLA. Showed a lot of patience on that rally, Ray. Without a doubt. When that ball's out of system, ball goes higher. They're able to add another blocker to get six hands up there to try to block that ball. Serving now, McHenry. Mishandle on the serve receive, not able to get it over. Good attempt. But Fabakovich slides underneath the net and might be close now to a coach Hawks time, but just a back and forth I mean, battle. Back and forth here. I mean, we talked about, again, the serving. We'll talk about it more later on about the serving of UCLA. See McHenry right here with his kind of a hybrid serve. High back set, double block. Good return up in the air by Reed. Out of play. Point's going to go to the Ramblers. That's good variety that time by Van Buren. Understood the situation he was in before. Had a good swing to start. Had blocked the, uh, the second time around. That time showed more variety taking the ball off the block to score. It's going to be a play at the net. And not able to get to it cleanly is Rowan. Misguided pass from the back row. Babakovich takes his serve to more of a hybrid, uh, more of a jump float. Like he usually takes it to spin, changed it to a jump float, created a little bit of variety, a little variance there for the Ramblers to, to get an opportunity to score. So to the back row, misguided pass up by Robinson. But that one's going to go almost to the upper deck. Bruins answer back tied at 14. Also want to point out, Ray, I kind of like the back of the jerseys for the <laughs> Bruins. It's got a map of, you know, it looks like the greater campus area for UCLA. Yeah, the Nike jerseys have little little nuances to them. We've kind of seen it when we're inside in the fall and with mm -hmm. the men's as well. Did you get to uh, decide what your jersey setups were during uh, your time coaching? Uh, no. Because who knows <laughs> with a three-inch inseam didn't really work out for me, but it's all right. <laughs> So timeout is going to be called. Your score, Loyola 15. Um, along with first point volleyball, really trying to get more people involved in, 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 in boys and men's volleyball. Back set 10 foot line, not able to get underneath it in the back row. Talk to me through it. You said one of the best minds. What for you as a coach in your own right, what makes him such a brilliant mind? What is it about him? I, I think for sure Spraw is always a learner. Okay. And so it's never just going to be the one thing. He's, he's constantly and consistently evolving. And he's able to, to, to try to take that from his mind. As you see now, an ace serve there for the Bruins. He's taking it from his mind and then be able to project it down to his team, those around him. UCLA comes out of the timeout, gets two quick ones of their own. Loyola is leading the block here to category two and a half to one and a half thus far. Hits off the heel. That was something you may not see ever again. <laughs> a pancake turned into a reverse heel kick. So you'll probably see a timeout here yeah. from the Ramblers. Yeah, I mean, when you go on a, a run like UCLA has, even though it's short, coming out of a timeout, it's not something you want to see. Well, it's just the, one of those It's just one of those things we've seen. Now, it's the great equalizer. And, and again, uh, 
for UCLA. They, they pride so much on their serve. Mm. Talking about it again, they had 14, 14 service aces against Lewis. And Lewis is a really good team. You know, to have 14 aces in a match in a four-setter is amazing. And, and before you know it, now we've got back-to-back -back aces. And that's the second ace for, for UCLA. The Rams have done a nice job so far managing the serve of UCLA. When you look at what Loyola can do, again, it's not the few the past three games you wanted the result of, especially a few days ago against BYU. What is it so far you today that you've seen that you've liked so far? Because they've shown a lot of composure, saying today's it. Today's number one versus number ten. This is the best. We know we can compete with the best. Yeah, this match is 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 what it is today, right? The other matches you kind of had it, had a chance to assess it, reflect on it, and you move on. This is the current moment. What's going on? And again. The Ramblers show moments of, play, of brilliance. Mm -hmm. They're playing solid volleyball consistently, or consistent volleyball. Now, how long can they do it? Yeah. You know, it's not a matter of the one big kill or the one big stuff. It's really about managing the serve. And as the Ramblers manage the serve, they're able to get their offense going the way they want you to be, okay? As you saw, Coach Hawks not really saying much during that timeout. Early on in set one, not necessarily much needs to be said, I'm sure. Identify the serve, see, you know, Check out, identify the spin, see if it's going to be deep or if it's going to be off speed. Nice pickup from the back row coming into the bench. Able to play it off. Point's going to go to UCLA, but I uh, almost wish you could give a half point to Loyola for running right into us. Shaking it off right now is Cole Schobel, the setter. Might see a little change here. Yeah. The Ramblers went to a 6 2 in the past, and that's helped them kind of. Kind of break up the momentum. So now you see McElliott come in as a setter. Mm -hmm. Truby goes on the opposite. And the and now the the new rotation one for the Ramblers. And again, another ace there for UCLA. And you can just kind of see where the game is, was so good before. Mm -hmm. At the break, it was 15-14 for the Ramblers. Coach talks about having to use a second timeout here as he's going through it. The, the Just as somebody already having three aces midway through, or I should say, you know, over halfway through set number one. One of the hard parts right now, now, it's, one of the hard parts in this situation is, you know, where the libero is for the Rambos. And right now he's in area one. And you see Oakley handle the ball now. Adjusting midair. Back bump on the free ball. See what the Ramblers can do. Oh my goodness, a 12 to 6 block. Ethan Chaplin says, nope. Try again. Maybe this sets a little bit tight, just a rhythm between the two team, between the two players. But a really good job by the block of UCLA. Heck of a run so far. 5-0 scoring run for the Bruins. Make that 6-0 at this point. Misguided pass. That might hit the line, and it does. Staring down, Ido David just looked at the ground and kind of shrugged his shoulders. That fell right on the line. He's going to probably apologize <laughs> to Robinson about that. Hey, man, my bad. Back to serve now, McElliott. Sophomore at him on the line, the lefty. Back set, David from the 10-foot line. D. Meyer trying to push it over. Quick set and down and kill. Outstanding job by Chaplin. You know, something that Coach Hawk said in our conversation with him yesterday, Ray, is he said, if you are jumping after the set, when it's a one set, you can have a rotation here, but he said, yeah. if you're jumping after the set takes place, you're already late. Right. You know, for, for Deem, he had a couple opportunities there early where he had a chance to score fast points and ended up giving the ball back to the Bruins. And that's the opportunities that the Rambers really need to take advantage of. Now you'll see Klein come in and step in for the Rambers in the middle. Set to the far side, left, down, tip, going to be called. Truby able to get the point. A little bit of a run now for the Ramblers. Can they, can they string that together? You're talking about a run, but now you're looking at age right now <laughs> where Matt Oakley is, again, your oldest guy on the court. Another point. For the Ramblers, and Sprawl might be forced to call a timeout of his own coming up shortly. And that's, Reed brings that, you know, Reed has a, an ability to play good, solid volleyballs. Had up and down a little bit, we've seen so far in the last match. But his serve is solid, his game is solid. 
Set near pin, Truby can't deliver. Resetting up the attack for the Ramblers. Oh, beautiful one kill over the middle. Aiden Klein, the middle blocking freshman out of Evanston Township, all smiles. Shout out. I always have to shout out to E-Town when yep. I can because that is my home and it's always fun to see another person from Evanston Township shine. Mm -hmm. Does a really good job. I think Klein does a really good job as a middle attacker. He's going to work on being a, a better blocker where Dean Meyer is a really good blocker yeah. to work his way on and being a better attacker. And yes, there are differences between the two. You know, sometimes you're a better blocker than hitter. Yeah. Sometimes you're a better hitter than blocker. So talk me through it with Klein in, in particular. What is it that he does so well on the hitting side? He just gives himself space and the opportunity, right? It has a nice window for the setters, and, and you've seen it done with multiple setters so, you know, for, for the Ramblers. Um, he's able to hit off of he's able to hit off of um, you know, and any of the guys that are going to come in. And that's what you want as a setter. You want hitters that, hey, are available, give themselves a nice big window so you can lay it up there and they can go ahead and swing and score. Now for UCLA, it's just a run, right? Yeah. There was a, I think a five point run, maybe a six point run for UCLA before with Robinson on his serve. You can see it there where earlier in the set where, you know, Rammers handle that ball, Schobel goes up, shows himself like he's gonna swing, he's able to toss it overhead to Van Buren, one on nobody or one on one at best. And, and it's really about the serve on both mm -hmm. teams right now. When your serve's been consistent, you've yeah. had a lot of impact. And that's where both teams really want to shine from the serving line. And then they, the converse of that is try to be able to handle the first contact and be okay. Is there a conversation point with Coach Hawks, you know, having uh, during these timeouts when the opposing team's calling the timeout? Talk about, talk about that. What, 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 is he, what is he discussing during a timeout when UCLA is the one that calls the timeout? Oh, well, if he if it's not him directly, then it's someone on his staff. Yeah. Maybe it's their blocking defensive coach to let the guys know, hey, what are they going to see? Okay. What rotation they're in, what's going to happen, and kind of go from there. And I, and I think at the end, usually a head coach will kind of give that nugget at the end to help the guys mm. get themselves ready to go again. That one goes out of play. Nice fist bump by Oakley, the libero. Again, like you said, sometimes some of the one of the oldest on the court, the redshirted junior out of Sage Creek High School in California. Yeah, you know, and Meinhardt comes in now. He's had some experience as well. Back row, a bit too much behind it. And yes, middles, you need to know how to serve. Yes, you need, know how, you need to know how to handle the second ball. It's not just about hitting the ball and blocking. And defense, too, for that matter. But a lot of middles want to play defense. We know that. <laughs> UCLA needs two to take set one, and that's another one. Sounds like DJ Khaled with another one, another one just delivering ace after ace. Yeah, that, what is it about his aces, Ray? Well, I'll tell you. Or his that, serves, I should say. I mean, that me. time, Reed knew that that ball was going long and just couldn't get out of the way. Nice aggressive serve that time from Champlin. Pick up from the back, back row. Set one point out of play. And set one is going to go the way of the Bruins, 25 to 20. Can the Ramblers come back and tie to one apiece, or will UCLA find a way to take it two in a row? Teams have flip sides. What a fun atmosphere. I mean, Ray, people are still filing in. I mean, people are literally standing, standing room only in certain parts up in the rafters Love right the now. vibe. We've seen it for men's basketball, the, the level of energy for, for those games. There's a big tournament that's going on in town, so there are a lot of boys players that are here. But again, just in general, you know, you know, all the folks of the Chicago community, the volleyball community is coming here to see two great teams go at it. Back to serve is number 16 for the Ramblers, Cole Schobel. And that's a big kill over the middle, kind of shrugging it off. Merrick McHenry out of Bedford, Texas. McHenry's a player I want to point out. Just the eye test when he coils back and delivers could be because of the lean frame, but Ray, it just seems like it comes out 100 miles an hour. Well, a couple of sentences ago, you said over the block, and that's really <laughs> what it was. Yeah. And there's another, I mean, just great. His rhythm on his serves is so impressive. Set far side. And another kill for UCLA. That time, Cooper Robinson out of Pacific Palisades, California. Showing the variety in the swing that time on the outside. A lot of times hitters, when the ball gets set inside, and it's okay to miss inside, they'll take the ball high cross court off the block. 
That time Robinson takes the ball down the line. We've seen that a couple times for UCLA. Back pass. Miss. It's all smiles again as McHenry. He went for the side bump, Ray. Pulled it back just in time. Touched him a little bit. Just grazed him. Ended up being a touch and a point for the Ramblers. And the, rubbers, the Ramblers stay close, and it's really important for the Ramblers to stay close here in this second set. Pass up, might have a joust opportunity. Just palmed over at the last moment by David. Not able to get underneath it is Alex Knight. And the Ramblers tied up at two. See Fabikovic now with better rhythm that time on the back row attack. Good tempo. A lot of that was established by Meinhardt on the quick early in the first set. Ramblers now tied up at two. Fabikovic serves. And that's going to be a service ace for Loyola. So just like that, taking the one-point lead. And again, you see now Fabikovic with, with Veray on his serves. In the first set, you saw it with the jump float. As it spins out of his hands, you don't know if it's going to be a float or a topspin serve. Mm. Again, that time he tries to change it and go short. To the near pin, down kill. Rinse and repeat for the big man, Ido David. Man, like, it's just... The, the collection of arms you see on guys right now is really impressive. The speed, the pace of the set, and then just his ability to get on the ball with, with, at tempo is really, really impressive. Let's see his serve. It's picked up by Oakley in the back row. Triple block. Pass to the far side. Let's see what happens on the free ball. Just a side bump from the back row by Fabikovic. Decoy, same spot. Nice job on the decoy. I always appreciate those right from behind. The jump is or the block is already falling back down. Come up right from behind. One it. of the rare times we saw for UCLA where they had an opportunity to score, didn't take advantage of it. That time the Ramblers did a really nice job of taking advantage of it with the back row attack again to score. Serving now for the Ramblers is Meinhardt. Nice kill over the middle. Jake Reed, the freshman. There are times where in the men's game, the float serve mm -hmm. can cause more problems than the topspin serve. The topspin, for the most part, it goes up and down and with a lot of speed, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> but the float has a little bit of variety. You can see there, even not handled the cleanest there from, from Robinson. He was able to take a nice swing on the block to score for yeah. UCLA. I would say that was a conversation point with Coach Hawks as he said, I need my float serve to be on point. We've seen it so far today. Just the whole game has to be on point, right? I mean, we're talking about the float serve. We're talking about the first contact. Timely hitting, timely plays. I return. Side bump by David. Back set. Looking over the triple. Nice bit of finesse that time by Chaplin. Chaplin did a nice job. Again, showing some variety. Pulling the string, as they would say, yep. right? Cooper Robinson. Back again for another serving run. You might not see all the aces from Robinson, but the number of serves right now is mm -hmm. pretty high. Set in the same spot. Breaks on through to the other side. Ramblers get another one, take that slim lead back to one. This is kind of the story of the whole first set until the very end. It was back and forth, back and forth. Each coach having to use some of their timeouts, and UCLA just prevailed at the end. And really, that's what it is right now, right? How do you handle the situations in the beginning of the set, right at the media timeout, getting to 20, and then and to, to end of the set at 25? Ball's tight. Oh, nice block. Fans clapping and on their feet. Nice job with recognizing where the pass was going and making that adjustment as we see on the replay. Klein steps in there. That time doing a nice job getting his hands across the net. That ball was tight. Maybe looking for a little variety that time. Try to go through the block. Ended up being a stuff. Van Buren looks for the serve. Nice back set. Tool out of play. That goes to what we're, we're calling kind of the Hall of Fame section over there. <laughs> Good to see some past alumni and great players and coaches in attendance here today, right, Ray? Guys getting recognized for their championship in 2014, a decade ago. Oh, Four. stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice shot, nice swing there by Champlin. Again, 
getting himself back in a situation where he's had better variety to attack the ball off the block and score. Pass on the decoy. Way out of play. Had me fooled. Outstanding job by the Ramblers. Again, it all starts with a solid first contact. Again, when you handle the ball well, you have more hitters than blockers. You have a really good opportunity to score. And a service error. I will say in today's game, specifically this match in particular, not as many service aces. Now, not trying to jinx it of any sort, but not as many service errors, I should say. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> and I'm not saying that right now. Okay. And you're going to see it. So we should just assume that there's going to be stretches. It's, it's set number two now. Both teams have kind of settled in. Let's kind of see how it works now for the duration, how they play. Able to pick it up. Just a quick pass to David. Self-preservation into the net. Able to keep it alive. Palmed over with the left hand. Good job by Loyola to keep the ram. The Rambler rally alive, but very quickly, David put a stop to that. Yeah, nice round from both sides. And you also got to think, too, we're talking, it's the second night of matches. Mm. Both teams played pretty intense matches. Ramblers played five. Bruins played a tight four, where no one had a bigger than three-point set win. You see another race there for the Bruins. Champlin. Yeah, yep. Just so methodical, so, you know, I, you could tell that's just hours and hours in the gym. It, it's it's so hard to explain to people about being able to be methodical. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, being able to do this, you know, if you have 100 opportunities to be able to, the best people do it 80 times out of 100. And, and being able to continually show that, because before you know it, you'll be down two points yep. or three and have to call a timeout. And you thought you were playing solid volleyball. Substitution coming in is going to be number eight, Jack Jens, the red-shirted senior from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Jens has experience. Started the first match against Hawaii. That's a good utility guy. He's been a libero, been a pin hitter, kind of been everything. Talk me through that substitution choice. Well, it's, it's, it's for change. It's just yeah. to handle the first contact just like he did there. Just out of play. Yeah, he's got a touch, I think. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Yep. And again, Coach Sprout looks at his guys, asks if yeah. anybody touched it. A couple guys said, yeah, I, I touched it. We kind of move on. Good communication, though, by coach to player. Because sometimes, yeah. sometimes the players may say, no, no, I didn't. Then you're wasting a challenge. Set from the 10-foot line. Oh, my goodness. Hitting the right. Part of the solar plexus, Cole Schobel, nothing he can do but try to shrug out of the way. So let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah. A lot of that comes from the serve. Now the serve is in, and it's a positive serve, but it's a ball that's handled really easily by the Bruins. They can have as many hitters as they want, and they're coming. Set to the near pin, out of play, no touch again. UCLA is gonna come away with a point. Two point lead for UCLA. Another point, Coach Hawks may consider a timeout. No, he's going to do it right now. Okay. <laughs> I was feeling it, Ray. I was like, you know what? It feels like this might be a time for a timeout. And there indeed it is. 12 to 10. Your score will take a timeout with them. Continuation, one versus two. And gets a point back. And that point is critical. Good call. Good timeout there from Coach Hawks. Identifying yeah. the fact that we really need to stay close. And it was 10 serving 12, or 12 serving mm -hmm. 10 at that time. Excuse me. Good pass over the middle. Return cleanly. Tight. Oh, nice job. Just absolutely getting it at the peak of that pass, Cooper Robinson. There'll be times where you might see players try to take that ball into the block and push it off. That time, Van Buren tried to save that ball. Ball was a little tight for his approach pattern. Played it high. Just a better block on the swing. UCLA gets that point back after the timeout. And here comes another big server. And that hits the tape and falls down. You know, you think you've seen hard serves, and then when you see it in person, it's something, it's a conversation I was having with some of the staff pregame. You know, Pete, what are you excited about in this contest? I said, I've seen UCLA on video, but the eye test in person, I said, it just adds, it puts it to a different level. Yeah, first of all, you see the size of the guys. 
Um, just, you know, their presence. Loyola goes to their serving specialist, one of them. The left hand, Luke Anderson. Good job, good net presence by Andrew Rowan. Yet again to give a point to the Bruins. And again, that's, we talked about the emotions, we've been, you know, the opportunity there for the Rammers. We've seen a few times now where the ball's been tight and the Rammers haven't been able to put it away. That time, Reed loses the battle to Rowan on the joust. Let me ask you this question. Again, UCLA played Lewis just a few days ago. They stayed in town for a bit uh, before heading out of town tomorrow. Another service air hits the tape and drops. What are you doing between those days? I mean, especially with the conditions, not like you're necessarily playing around and sightseeing in the cold, but, you know, talk me through what a schedule might look you like. You watch video, you meet, you might get a chance to train. Um, you definitely take care of your body. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and the rest is, is really important as well. There might be something for the teams where they hit work on some, some mental work. A rare mishap as Guy Guinness, the middle blocker out of Tel Aviv, Israel, not able to communicate that one. I'll tell you right now, for the yeah. Ramblers, you've seen three, we've seen three missed serves in a row for UCLA, and now a missed contact back behind. It's a really good opportunity for the Ramblers to really go on a run. Van Buren to serve. That one stays in. You hear the crowd, ooh. <laughs> that was a killer kill. Champlin with a really nice swing. Again, you saw Champlin earlier take a ball out of system down the line. That time he rips the ball cross court underneath the block of Klein. Nice decoy pass block to the back row. Nice run down that time there by Jens to save it. Yeah, Van Buren able to get there as well. Side bump rally continues on. Can UCLA take advantage? And they do. Yeah, and this is going to be one of the things, again, with young players. We talked before about Klein. Uh, offensively does a nice job. The blocking part, being able to have good eyes, good feet, good hands to read the situation to be okay. Chaplin on the year 27 kills, leading the charge offensively in the 3-0 start for UCLA. That one goes right over my right shoulder, goes into the crowd. Souvenir. Ray's, Ray's calling for it. Almost hit your phone. You okay there? Yeah. It'll be all right. <laughs> Just wanted to get a chance to touch the ball once I, I know. <laughs> oh, reminisce of the old days. <laughs> Back pass. Great defense by Van Buren. That one drops. Nice play by the Ramblers. You know, and that's something where if you're the Ramblers, you want to try to, of course, you want to win the game, but you want to try to get a few points or get the crowd back into it with all these people here. The back and forth one for one kind of dulls the energy. It does, but again, that's kind of the, the, the game right now, right? So the purist here watching this, I'm really understanding, like, there's just moments where you know, hey, you can go on a run. I agree with you. Hey, you know what? A big energy play, something like that would be wonderful. But right now, they want to stay involved as long as they, meaning the Ramblers, mm -hmm. want to stay involved as long as they possibly can. This is very hard to be able to do this against the, the defending champs. Another mental error there from, from UCLA. Foot fault. Yeah, that's a rare one, especially when you're, you know, the number one team in the nation, defending national champs. Those are errors you don't see that often. We've seen now at least four missed serves from UCLA, out of probably out of five attempts or six attempts. And a service error, not happy about that one, of course, is going to be Aiden Klein. And Klein's going to have to work on his on his routine. And that's what you see a lot okay. from the Bruins, right? Every player's got a routine, whether they bounce the ball a couple times, identify it, have a good toss, have a good approach, whether it's three steps or four steps. Klein, four service errors coming into tonight. Back set, block couldn't get there. Net violation called nonetheless on the Ramblers. So again, we're at that critical spot where Hawks is probably feeling it, where he might, you know, he might need to call a timeout. Yep, and there it is right there. Yep. Timeout called by 14 stuff block points, or 14 block points and 15 aces, or the other way around, excuse me. But either way, that's 29 points. And, and those 29 points help equalize things really fast. Out of the break, another service ace, Ethan Chaplin. A little bit of a fist bump as he is absolutely delivering tonight. And Coach Hawks knows it right now, and he does, he's not sure. Maybe he decides to go back to the 6-2 again, maybe to change it a little bit. 
but the off speed there by Champlin to score. Champlin, three service aces before tonight, already three tonight. Might be a replay here. It might be a replay. There's the swing by, we see a challenge here. So we're gonna see a challenge. So, so what happened was Shobel turned and swung it on okay. two. Talk me through it, yeah. Right, so that's the second yeah. contact. The ball stayed on his side, stayed on the net. The Ramblers played it over. So you see the serve from Champlin, ball's tight. Oh no, Shobel swings. So now you're looking for the third contact was from Jens being heady to make that play. Yep. A lot of conversations happening right now. I don't think it cleared the net. Correct. So that yeah. was only the second contact. Yeah. Jens plays it over. And that's contact three. Right. Coach Sproth thought that it was, it was four touches because he thought Meinhardt got might have it. touched the ball got in that it. situation. And his guys were like, no. Yep. <laughs> it was three contacts. And again, yep. the officials handle it the right way. Now we can play on. Ooh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> a replay. Yeah, it was a replay. Yep. Thank you. You're never wrong, Ray. No, don't let anybody ever no, tell no, you no, that. No, no, I'm always wrong. It's okay. <laughs> Back set, can the Ramblers climb themselves out of a three-point deficit? Van Buren, and that's gonna be the start of it there. Coach Spira kind of kicked up in the air. He knew how close that one was. Again, Shovel doing a nice job showing himself. And what I mean, he shows like he might swing or tip the ball over, then that makes, that forces the left front blocker to commit. That time it's Robinson has to respect that. And the ball gets tossed overhead. Van Buren's able to score. Shovel with the left hand serve. UCLA trying to set up their attack. David goes a little bit softer than usual. Decoy set 10 foot line. Play at the net off the free ball. What can Loyola do? One down, one kill. Jimmy Meinhardt dropping the anvil. And these moments will help them. Will it help them tonight? Not sure, but it for sure will help them later on. It will sure. hopefully help them, you know, in March and April. Hopefully it will help them as they go forward. With just these experiences, how do they manage to it right now? Loyola preseason ranked number two in the MEVA conference. It's going to be a heated contest once again, Ray. <laughs> yeah, I think the MIVA is uh, not, not undervalued. I just think there's some really competitive situations that, that might present some pretty good theater throughout the season. Play over the middle. Oh, what a nice pass. That's elevation, Holmes. Merrick McHenry jumps out of the ceiling. So you saw McHenry to start the set, taking that ball over the block, and now here on really good pass, perfect pass from the Ramblers, I'm sorry, from the Bruins to go and score it. Now let's see his serve. He's been pretty consistent here tonight with his serve. Right hand to the back row. That's gonna hit a cross beam. You know, and it looks like, oh, you could just play it off. It's got to be so hard when you're standing under it, yeah, and seeing where it falls. And when you're new to Gentil Arena, even for the home team, yeah. it, you got to understand the nuances of it. It's one thing when it hits off the scoreboard, the, the circular scoreboard that's been changed. But, I mean, when it hits off the rafters itself, not much what you could do against that. Bringing it back into play. Van Buren back row. Is there a touch? No touch. Bruins come away with another point. They are two away from taking set two. And again, just being able to be consistent, right? Now it's leadership, it's good maturity fr from McHenry. Then, then a nice job of, of being able to put pressure on the Ramblers with the serve. Forces Hawks to go back to a, to a, a, a substitution, something to try to break up the momentum. Looking forward to a fun season. You and I are gonna be on a lot of calls together, Ray. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Side bump. Let's see what UCLA can do. Off the deke. Oh. I don't know what else I love, but a good decoy. Yeah, just, you know, good job. Guinness does a good job of drawing on the quick. Fastball on the outside to Robinson. And when you have the opportunity, you just have more hitters available. And it's going to be really hard for your block to touch the ball. UCLA, one point away from set number two. And an ace is the place. All smiles. Took out Fort Valley State and Morehouse College in three straight. And after heading out of town, they are back home against Ohio State and Penn State. But that's actually going to be in Austin, Texas, on the first point collegiate challenge. Loyola trying to come out of it. Oh, nice dig from behind is Knight. 
And Loyola gets that first point. And I thought there was gonna be a free ball opportunity. Good job by the Ramblers to identify the ball was still tight. They stayed on the net to block. Got the stuff blocked and have the lead. You know, it's a situation where Loyola has not been short at all of confidence, you know, despite what, how things have ended in each of the first two sets. So good to see them come out swing. That, you know, is a big testament as a chicken wean is shown there by Knight. Joust at the net. Oh, joust won by Cooper Robinson. David Tell's not going to be really happy with that situation. Now, what I'll tell you is, yeah. you again, you see, like you talked about the confidence of the Ramblers. It's really just the understanding right now, right? How do, how do I put this particular volleyball set into chunks, you know? And if, you, if they can manage it, mm -hmm. then they can play much more consistent volleyball. Great dig. Back pass having to just set it over on the free ball. What can the Ramblers do? Back to David. Set over the middle, swinging from the back row to no avail. Nice set. Van Buren, he goes for a finesse. Wow. Good dig. Oh, my goodness. McHenry wants to be a libero. Yeah, what type of rally do we see here? It just goes out of play. No touch. UCLA comes away with the long rally. All right, friends. <laughs> all you middles out there. Again, I told you before, you've got to be complete, right? You just saw one of the middles here, one of the best middles in the country. Not only with a great serve laid out a couple of times on defense, handle the situation, allows him to go back and serve again. Merrick McHenry, who is all over the court today. Not able to return that one, but you know what I appreciate? He's still smiling even after that. 1,000%. He's gonna make good, really good plays and his teammates are gonna back him up. And that's the beauty of volleyball. You know, there, there's always gonna be a mistake. You get another opportunity to try to go back there and do something. Taking a moment, Parker Van Buren. Out of Cross Plains, Wisconsin. Hits the rafter, still playable by Guinness. Good block. Blocked to the back row. Good job. Pass near pin, that's out of play as Cooper Robinson couldn't get it back in. We've seen a couple plays now for the Ramblers in this third set where they've been able to take advantage of opportunities, where before they've had the opportunities and couldn't take advantage of it now, and it, off of a good serve, good situation, ends up now with the lead. Back to serve is the aforementioned Van Buren. Pastor Robinson breaks through the block, bust out the snow, the snow shovel. In these conditions, do you have to shovel a lot this week? Oh boy! <laughs> out where I am, I'm about 60 miles west of yeah. here. We've you got hit hard. Yeah, we've got hit. Yeah, making up for lost time those couple of years where it's been pretty low in numbers. Great job by the Ramblers on that ball. Ooh, left hand, that's gonna come near side. Robinson brings it back in. Oh my goodness, like a rebounder in basketball. Van Buren trying to deliver and able to do so. Big play by the Ramblers. Again, that's just a really nice development we've seen here at home for the Ramblers where Schobel's able to show himself, you know, again, force a left front blocker to really make a move and respect him, tossing the ball back behind to Van Buren to score. Picked up by Knight. Play near the intent. That one out of play and no touch. I am laughing because you have three <laughs> first year guys up there for the Ramblers going against one of the better players in the country. Gonna make sure the Ramblers have to watch out for the fast set back behind. Fabakovich actually hit off the back side of the hand almost the pinky side just missed miss one no other way to put it you know I think I think that long term for the Ramblers for coach Hawks is gonna be able to help keep his guys up mm. you know this is a stretch it's gonna be a really hard stretch and again all of these events really help their team in the long run it just might be really hard and again there's still some some probably some yeah. leftover from the BYU match the other night and a couple other five setters they've had before well, and again, you're not going to at any point say stop swinging or slow down your swing. No. You know, keep on swinging. But it hasn't been about the swing tonight, that's for sure. You yeah. Know, when we talk about it. That violation called against UCLA. Champlin went up on, on the joust. 
Ramblers get the get the joust win. Again, now little lead here. Yep, yep. Doing a nice job. Nice serve, dropping down to a knee. David still finds the gap as Schobel and Van Buren splits the upright. Nice touch there by Meinhardt and Reed on the block on the swing of David. Gonna see a jump floater here from Guinness. Pass to the near side. Outstanding block. Point's gonna go to the Ramblers, though. Just out of bounds. Just out of bounds. Nice set overhead that time from Schobel. He's finding a pretty good rhythm tonight with Van yep. Buren. Good to see a challenge here by Coach Spra. Yeah, I wasn't able, you and I, based on our vantage point, we can't see this near Fair. side line Fair. right at the uh, where the R2 stands, so. And it's a bang-bang play, and I, I think it's a good opportunity now for Coach Spra to kind of get his guys back on track. And hopefully for the Rambers, you know what, they can get a breath and reset yeah. themselves. It's really, I think it's a good little mini timeout for both sides because now the Rambers can go back again, reset themselves, not worry about calling a timeout. That looks like it goes right on the line. Yeah, okay. Let's see if they show it again, but at least from that replay, yep. looks like it went right gonna reverse it. You're right on that. Good challenge. Yes, I, think, I think we have to say that, right? If, if it's overturned, we have to say good challenge. Successful. Okay. <laughs> For now, again, it's instead of it being eight five, we talked about it before. Now yeah. it's seven six. What do we yep. do after timeout? What happens? Correct. And I say we, meaning like, what are the Ramblers doing? Yeah. Where the guys handle in a spot. Babakovich last time did a good job handling the serve. And point right back. Again, I should have kept tabs throughout my career once the challenge, you know, rule was instituted. How many times after a challenge that went a certain way, the opposite team got the Boy, next point? Yeah. Kind of like just like what happens when a team calls a timeout. Mm -hmm. Does that team, you yep. know, the team misses serve? Oh, my. Whoa. Just out of play, but Merrick McHenry testing the floorboards. Gonna see another challenge here for Coach Spra. He can, yes, another camera angle may have called it just as close, and I always say, close, give it to the give it to the play, it's, or to the call that was on the court. And I wanna, we wanna say yes, because we wanna see more volley. Yeah, exactly. You know? All right, so again, Ramblers have put themselves in a good spot, done some really positive things. Can they go on another mini run? Now, we're not going to get upset about the missed serve. Yeah. You know, where before it's like, okay, got to serve the ball in, got to serve the ball yeah. in. Now you got to reset yourself and, and do a good job being able to manage this first contact opportunity here off of a really good serve in Rowan. High jump set. Who else? McHenry, straight 12 to 6. Point for the UCLA Brewers. Now, this is hard for the Ramblers because now they're in the rotation one. Van Buren's on the left side with Reed on the right. Ideally in good pass, could maybe find someone like Meinhardt if he gives himself good space. Pass to the far side. Just a light touch back in. Able to get it up is number 12 Oakley and Smiles, yeah, keeping pace so far at UCLA. They had a lead for most of this third set so far. Rammers have done a good job of taking advantage of their opportunities, really. Both teams are not hitting the best. Both teams are hitting negative so far. You see Reed there on the overhead set back behind the score. Real nice time out there by Coach Hawks. Back to serve now is gonna be Jake Reed, the freshman. Setting near pin, David. Back set out of play. Loyola's looking for a tip. And right away, Schobel giving a head nod saying, yeah. Give it a try. That's the one thing I think we need to figure out. How okay. we can have the number of challenges somewhere so mm. we can, you know. Let's see if there is a tip. Here's that main cam. A lot of times from this vantage point, it's hard. Yeah. You know, you're looking for the fingers to move in some capacity. 
This one sometimes helps us a little bit better. Maybe a thumb yeah. there from Champlin. was made, the challenge was made, the decision on the challenge was made, and that's where we're at. So now we've got to get the Rammers back and, and a reset, reset themselves. Back to serve, Ethan Champlin. Had an outstanding day so far, but answering right back is Fabakovic. That's a nice, mature play from the Ramblers. Good tempo there from Shovel to Fabakovic. And maybe you haven't seen it as much tonight as you saw on other matches where there has been a rhythm between Shovel and Fabakovic on the pin. You've seen it in the back row a little bit, where sometimes the set outside's been at a really nice tempo. This guided pass out of system. Blocked right back down, all smiles, Cooper Robinson. Just an understanding that time for the Ramblers, maybe some communication about how many blockers there are and how big mm -hmm. the blockers are yeah. <laughs> and how good the blockers are. I mean, there's only two players on the UCAA roster that have a five at the beginning, and that's Nakamura at 5'10 and McDonough at 5'11. Rare error that time for McHenry. Right now as well in the third, BYU leading 17-13. Lewis took set two and set one. So BYU in a similar situation as these Loyola Ramblers at this point. So showing the prowess of Lewis so far this season. You and I talked about that off the air uh, pregame. Is Lewis a team to watch this yeah. year? Yeah, always. Dan Friend does a great job as a coach. You know, people always underestimate them, their level of, of, of heart and energy and will. That's right, so there's a, there, are, there are a few teams in, in the association that are really solid. And I think there are gonna be a lot of matches that are gonna be really tough. And hitting the tape, David, right away saying, that's me, that's me. And Ramblers have a chance right now to get to 15. You know, I've had this discussion in the past, not quite sure if you and I have had it. I've, I've known some coaches during my time of broadcasting volleyball where they, they do practice trying to aim right at that tape. Did, was that something you ever tried to implement? I, you know what, maybe as a float serve, mm -hmm. it, you might be able to see that there. But right now, you know, these guys are just trying to put pace on a ball. Yeah. And that air that time from, from Robinson on his swing. So the net violation called before it goes out of play. And another mini run here for the Ramblers. So what you like to see if, if you're a Loyola fan, and like you said, let, let's get as much volleyball out of this as we can. Set right at the pin, off the left temple of Matty Oakley. He's oh, kind of blinking it off. That cannot feel good. Poor Oakley has gone through it, man. Got a, got a big shot from Benson on Thursday night. And got one again tonight. And they go right at him with the serve. Back in play, net violation, gonna be called. Might have a timeout called soon by Coach Hawks. Well, Hawks has already used one timeout. So if he calls one again, that's it for the, for, for the set. And it is important. Is it Robinson back to serve again? It's probably been the most prolific server for UCLA, ah, he and Henry have done a really good job serving tonight. Set to the far side, nice directional set. David able to pick it up. Using the length of the net, nice set. Oh, Ray, what a beautiful set. Using almost the entire length of the net. Loyola couldn't adjust. 15-14, it is a 3-0 scoring run. In terms of lineup, Dean Meyer really hasn't been on the court that much since set number one. Yeah, and again, I think it's just gonna be what's needed tonight. And you see that time a hitting error from, yep. from Reed extends the lead for UCLA. You know, some client comes in because it helps give a little change of pace and they need some offense. And it gives them some experience. Got a feeling before it's all said and done, client's gonna get more extended run at some point. Cooper Robinson, stellar day at the service line. Nice back set from the 10-foot line. 
Back on the Loyola side. See if it's done again. The left hand thunder kill. Cole Schobel. I had talked Ooh. on. Ooh, I apologize. Sorry That's about skate. that. I had talked on Thursday about you know that situation where we've seen it in the fall with the women's team here at Loyola mm -hmm. playing the second ball, first ball a little bit tighter uh, to, to bore them to be able to play the ball over on two. Yes. Schobel's kind of doing the same thing. And Buren can't get there as I don't know if anybody could get there. Thunderous kill by UCLA lead back to two. As you talk about your decoy, I think Meinhardt got caught on the quick on full respect. Mm -hmm. Oh, Guinness, who really hasn't been said a lot tonight. Talk to me through, what, what, what does it take to have a beautiful decoy? Because UCLA's put on a clinic tonight. Well, uh, I'll tell you here. Okay. You battle here <laughs> in this rally. Decoy there again. Block was a little late. Collapsing on that attempt. Lead extended back to three. So ideally what happens is there are going to be attackers that are going to go at different tempos. The first tempo is your quick. So if the, the middle always wants to get up and gets available whenever they possibly can, and if they don't get set, it ends up kind of being like a decoy, okay. right? Kind of like a play action pass of sorts. So then the, the ball will get set somewhere else, whether it's to the pins, uh, back in the back row, to be able to do something. But it really all starts from the good pass and then the middle to make sure that they put themselves on a spot to be available. When you used to coach decoys, what's it like trying to coach it? Is, well, it, is it footwork first? Is it hand placement first? Yeah, and it, and it really is just about, about the, the tempos identifying the situation, right? So if you're a middle, there are cues that you want to respect in order to be able to do what you need to do. Tracking the ball over your shoulder, have your approach patterned, give yourself time and space for to, 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 be, to be set instead of okay. what's set and, and by doing that, it puts a lot of pressure on the middle on the other side. Yeah. So I think that time the Hawks tried to have, use a mini timeout with yeah. the challenge. Yeah. For I, the gamesmanship. I don't blame them. You're in set number three. You're trying to potentially get back to within one. No harm, no foul on that one. So these are just, it's just the experience now, right? This is going to be the experience for the Ramblers. They put themselves on a spot. Up 7-4 here in the third set. Other times we've had leads, but it's really being able to continue to stay at a high level. And it sounds like a broken record, but really it's just, that's kind of how the game's played. And a service there for UCLA, so just like that, point goes back to the Ramblers. Now it's important for the Ramblers now to find a way to get that play, that play of emotion somehow, some yeah. way, right? Can they win a point transition? Can Schobel go up there and serve an ace? Nice job there. Oh. <laughs> Merrick McHenry, name need not be said at this point. Yeah, I, 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 you can put 10 blockers up there and he'll still clear the block. <laughs> There's nothing you can do is about it, that. Is, is it the approach? Like, of course, you can't teach six foot seven, but w what is it specifically that's allowing him to get there? Is it the approach? Is it the footwork? Is it the arm swing? Okay. Is it the set? Yeah. The answer is yes. Okay. I mean, it's all those things, right? And, and that's that's how you're able, that's what the best hitters do. They put themselves in a position to where they can get set and, man and manage and be okay. All right, ace there from Reed. Yeah, almost uh, doing a Bo Jackson, you know, yeah. walking up <laughs> Try to. the side. See now Reed with a little bit more delay in his approach. I think that helps him have a little bit more comfort. Eric with the decoy down, hits off of the ground and the right shin of Jake Reed. UCLA five points away from the sweep. Nice toss there by Rowan. The long set, you can see almost 30 feet. Mm. Attacking that, setting that ball out to David. Was able to hit the ball before the block was formed for the Ramblers. Not many better setters than one Andrew Rowan. <laughs> set to the far side, trying to tip over with the left hand. Doing so successfully are the Ramblers. You, and here's the other thing to keep in mind. It's a one point deficit for Loyola, but based on how UCLA is just kind of, it's like a time of possession. You know, they, they just feels like they've had that time of possession. Just feels that way, you know. And, and again, you when you think you're playing well, all of a sudden you're down four. And you yeah. think you're down four, and you're really only down one. But 
UCLA's not going to stop. Yeah. And so now, can I battle back? Because trading points right now yeah. looks okay, but it doesn't help you. You'll still lose a set by two. So you need to find a way to not only maintain here, again, against one of the top servers for this match, and also in the country. It'll but, get picked up by Oakley. Set far side. It looks like it hit the antenna, and it did. Point's gonna go to the Ramblers, so I think that was a good call. Line judge right on the spot. Yeah, and I, and I was also wondering if, if Coach Hawks might challenge in that situation, if he had challenges left, and that's something I don't know, and I, I apologize. But I, I believe he's only used the one and been unsuccessful, but. Boy, it looks like David's arm hit the antenna, but points to the Ramblers, we play. Van Buren Good sends serve. it back. Alex Knight. Oh, that's a better set. Wow, David just doing this quite a quick set over. Set from the 10-foot line. That one goes sailing. Bruins are looking for the touch. Looking for a challenge. And this well. is going to be a coach nope. broad challenge. Well, the players initially said called for a touch. And then all, was, all was the players are like, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nope. But we're going we're, we're gonna to challenge a net call. I see Oh, it. okay. Up at 21, Ray. We're here. I mean, we're, we're in a good spot. So Coach Klein was just told by the R2 there is one challenge remaining. Thank you. They're helping us as well. They just don't know it. Decoy on the quick one. Great touch. Van Buren from the 10-foot line. Robinson says no. Drops right back down. UCLA three away from match point. Had not seen the bump, Bick. That situation, Oakley put the ball up to Van Buren. So as we see Miller Truby coming in, the red-shirted freshman out of Dallas, Texas. Haven't seen him since the onset of the contest. Miguel get, is back there also setting to kind of that, uh, that version of the 6-2. Locked back down and just in no man's land. Truby had creeped a bit up. UCLA needs two. And it's hard right now. Coach Hawks looking for somebody somewhere to be able to make a play. Would Good you? Job. Sorry. No, I was just going to ask, you know, is somebody at fault there? Was it, you know, Truby too close to the line, not playing back enough? Was it Oakley being a bit too much creeping toward that block scenario? Just the effort. Just as an okay. understanding to give it, get it to try. Brought back in. Nice finesse play for Loyola. Can they take advantage as that one goes to the upper row? UCLA at match point 24 to 21. Man, and Kelly, he does a good job. I enjoy his athleticism. For the balls that are tight, he managed it really well. Klein just wasn't able to get on the swing they needed to. Similar to what we saw from Dean early in the, early in the match. Yeah. So again, these are just all good teaching moments for the Ramblers. Pass to the near pin. Punching through, nice dig by Knight. Down. Great up. Good up by Oakley. Left hand over by Truby. Bick. Blocked down, that's gonna go out of play. Points gonna go to the Bruins, that's gonna be it, that's gonna be all she wrote. And UCLA, the number one ranked team into the country, comes into Chicago and sweeps number 10, Loyola Ramblers. It was awesome to see the high level of